Now I'd like to share with you another possibility, an additional aspect of this technique, and that is working with what we call choices. Um, the choices concept was developed by Patricia, Patricia Carrington, a co-worker with Gary Craig. Or she cooperates with him also, and she, in her way is using EFT. And what we do is we create a phrase in which we say, even though until now I have felt this fear, or this anger, or this pain, or this guilt, I now choose to remember this, or to realize this, or to see things in this way, or to feel this, or to react in this way. We decide that we want to choose a different way of feeling, of believing, of reacting to this event. Now I would like to share with you some po possible positive concepts that you might want to develop at this time in your life uh, and in such a way use this very negative and, and horrible event as a positive opportunity in your life. What are those positive beliefs? One, I do have the power to overcome this and create my life. That is, even though until now I have been filled with anxiety about what I'm going to do, I now choose to believe in my power to recreate my life, to build my home, to build my business, to gather my family together, whatever it may be. Another positive thought, I did the best that I could during this event. For example, even though until now I have felt guilty or shameful that I wasn't able to save this or that, I now choose to realize that I did the best I could during that event. There was nothing that I could have done better. You know, there's a saying that hindsight is perfect. You know, when we look back at things, we say, well, I could have done this, I could have done that. It's worthless. We all did the best we could. Third, there is some reason why this has happened. I don't understand it, but I want to have faith, I have faith, that it, there is a reason why this happened. It's not a punishment, but it's an opportunity for growth. That if you believe that there is a plan, an evolutionary process for human beings, and if you believe that our existence here is for that purpose, for that evolutionary process, then we have to believe that every event in our lives serves that evolutionary process, pleasant and unpleasant. And so if you want to, you can choose to see this event as an opportunity by saying that there is some reason. I don't understand the reason. It seems horribly injustice, unjust to me. Uh, but deep down, I have some faith that there is a reason why this happened. Another possible positive thought you might want to develop is that there is no death. There is only the departure of the soul from the physical body. No one dies. Only the body is discarded as the soul leaves the physical body. And thus, the beings that physically may not be here anymore continue to exist, just as I exist, now on another spiritual realm. That may be a comforting thought uh, that these beings do exist, and we continue to feel love and connection with them, even though they are not in their physical body at this time. And if we like, we can choose to believe that, that they chose, as souls, to leave their bodies at this time. It may seem external that they had no choice, but I believe that it was a soul choice to leave their physical bodies at this time. And it was our choice to stay. Another positive belief is that this is not a punishment, but just an opportunity to learn and to grow. And also, another belief that each person's destiny is unique and personal. And thus, there is no reason for me to feel guilt for surviving, or for being okay, or even for being happy today. 
my lesson is to become happy again. And that is for each person to decide. Can I accept being happy today? Maybe not. Can I accept being happy in a month? Can I accept being happy in a year? It's basically a personal choice. If we had total spiritual awareness, we could be happy at this moment, seeing everything as just an illusion. We're all going to die anyway. We are personally here, temporarily here, to learn through these experiences. I don't want to negate the horrible nature of this event. I understand it, and I personally would not like to go through it. I accept that, and I recognize that. But the moment that has happened, each of us is called upon to find the energy within us to see it as positively as we can and to move on in our lives. So let me show you how to use EFT with choices. What we do is we start by t rubbing here. We say, even though until now I have felt pain, anger, bitterness, whatever it may be, guilt, I now choose to believe in my ability to deal with life, to believe in the divine justice of all these events, to remember that my loved ones continue to exist in the spiritual realm, whatever you choose to want to believe. And we do this three times. We say, even though until now I have felt, and you say the emotion, I now choose to remember or to believe or to experience or to realize, and now you say your positive belief. You choose your positive belief. It could be something totally different from what I have said. It doesn't have to be anything that I have said. I now choose to believe or remember or feel. And here you fill in the way you want to believe or perceive or react to this event. And we do that three times. We don't have to do it on the other side now because our phrase incorporates accepting how we have been until now and incorporates the acceptance change because we say that we want now to perceive things differently. And then how do we work? We do one series of tappings as we did before on the negative, focused on that negative emotion that we had until now and the event. And then the second series of tappings, we focus only on the positive phrase. And for this reason, once you have created your positive phrase, you have to make it a bit shorter. You create it, and then you make it into about five words which encompass the essence of your positive phrase. That is, I feel totally capable. I am capable. I am strong. My loved one exists. I did whatever I could. It is five words or less which encompass that, so that you can focus on those five words and their meaning as you are tapping. And then on the third series of tappings, we alternate. We focus on the negative emotion while we're tapping here, and we focus on the positive phrase while tapping here, on the negative emotion here, on the positive phrase here, on the negative emotion here, on the positive phrase here, on the negative emotion here, and on the positive phrase here. So what we're doing is we start out with the negative, we end with the positive. And by doing this, we are creating a connection, if you like, in the subconscious between this negative emotion and this new, preferable way that we want to perceive things or feel.